if you hear air coming from behind your dash like this, and that's what you get. The problem may not necessarily be behind the dash. It could be your brake chamber. And actually, only once was my problem actually behind the dash. Three times when I heard this, it was the brake chamber. And that's why I carry an extra brake chamber. But it's on the trailer. And I don't know if this is the right one or not. This is not even the same trailer I had when I bought it. But if it was for the track, that would be good. And now, I might or may not. I may or may not be good, but it's okay because the guy, not lucky, or blessed, both probably, but the guy said he can get here in a couple of hours. I'm actually here picking up a load, going to Fayetteville, delivers at midnight, and it is, can you see your phone? It is, uh, 2:30, so that should work out. I get no, I don't get the break that I wanted. I knew I should have gotten me some. I knew I should have got the food I was gonna cook. I either was gonna give me some eggs to cook or some lamb or hamburger meat. I said no, I'm gonna run out here deliver this load. I'm not gonna eat till later anyway. I'll come back and get it. I was getting ready to label it as procrastination. It wasn't really procrastination. I was trying to come out here and get this load picked up and delivered early as possible. So that I could be empty as early as possible and have the potential to pick up another load, which is this load that I'm picking up now. By the way, on this load, okay, this load is uh, 130 miles. It's posted, well, it's not posted for an amount, but I emailed them. And the average was like, I think, 430 or uh, 450 or something like that. Anyway, he said they was trying to pay 500 And so I was like, okay, thanks. Now, in a situation like that, the load was supposed to be picked up already. And it was 11, 30, 12 o'clock. So I didn't really want to start the negotiation not knowing exactly when I would be empty. Because if you go for it, I, I need to be able to say... I need to frame it a certain way when I did that because I want to ask for more and you're already paying more than the average. So when I got empty, then I sent them an email and I said, 30 miles away, I'm empty right now. If you could do 600, I'm your guy. I'm on the way. I could be there in half an hour. And it took a while to respond. I'm try probably trying to wait for someone else to take it for. Well, I can't really say cheap. It was more than the average. But they paid it. And so that's why I share this with you. Because that's why I keep saying don't be so quick to take these loads that's on the board posted for the amount they're posted for. Especially if it's under the average. But even if it's at the average or over the average, look at the big picture. What time was it supposed to be picked up? And when does it have to be delivered? This got to be delivered at midnight. So take all that into account. You got some kind of leverage. But even on regular loads, if it's in the morning, don't just go for a rate that's posted, especially if it's lower than the average. Negotiate. But if you just easily just take the load, take the loads, post it under the average. Yeah, let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. They gonna, the rates will never go up. It's kind of like the gas. You know, when the barrel oil goes down it takes a while for the price of the pump to go down right it would be the same as with the rates except for that's wide open wild wild west so they'll keep rates as low as possible for as long as possible until they feel the pressure to have to raise them where the pressure gonna come from the pressure gonna come from drivers no longer willing to accept it for cheap do it. While Let's Herbie was waiting, he decided to check the air in his tires. Don't tell him I told you, but I don't think he checked them today before he left. What he's using now is 50-foot airline that he got at Love's Truck Stop. It was leaking in two months. They have them in Home Depot, and they seem sturdier. After hooking up the air to the glad handle for the trailer, you have to push the trailer brake valve in to supply air to the system. Running to the other side of the truck, you want to put it under 
the catwalk, not over. Otherwise, you can easily get grease all on it. And all you gotta do, you gotta have the truck running, press the brake in. He bumps up the idle so the air compressor is pushing more air through the system. The job he is a success. Too bad he can't tackle that brake chamber himself. Now, anytime he has to add air to a tire like that, he checks that tire every time he stops. Likely there's a nail or something that has caused the air to leak out. He found it. He's happy. Especially since it can be plugged. If it's less than two inches to the sidewall of the tire, they won't plug it. Three hours later, the mechanic arrived. Hervey's editing this video you're watching. He better hurry, it's almost time to go. It's three and a half hours to Fayetteville, folks. Wish us luck, that is all. See you next time. Have a wonderful evening.